Raffles Institution in white and Anglo-Chinese Junior College in red. From the start of the match, RI puts pressure on the ACJC defence and sets up a brilliant pass to slide in the first goal. The ACJCians, unshaken by their early setback, tries to turn a long pass to level up, but failed. Looking dangerous in mid-court, RI attempts another goal. With two goals down, ACJC tries for a breakthrough, but is denied by RI's tight defence. RI is swift in their counter-attack, and that translates into another goal. They go on to score yet another goal in open play, and a well-worked move. ACJC tries to find a break in the wing, but all efforts are revoked by the determined RI players. RI teases the goalkeeper before sending the puck right into the corner of the net for their fifth goal. Bolstered by their lead, RI sets up another goal. With little time to spare, ACJC is still unable to put in their first goal and the championship title goes to Raffles Institution, who dominates with an impressive win. Definitely we feel very happy because uh, after losing out on the championship last year by a small margin uh, to Victoria JC, uh, this year we really worked very hard, months of training. Before every match, uh, we always say the same thing, no matter what, individually we have 19 other brothers around us playing for each other and we got each other's back, so we have nothing to worry about. Raffles Institution regains their crown as the kings of the A Division boys, leaving Anglo-Chinese Junior College and Victoria Junior College to occupy the second and third positions. Over at the A Division girls title chase, Victoria Junior College takes home the gold with Raffles Institution and Anglo-Chinese Junior College filling in the other two spots.